question we have to find the current i that is flowing through the resistor 6 ohm and you see your voltage source current source and the resistor you know how to apply superposition theorem so you have to consider only one source at a time so if you are considering voltage source okay only one voltage source and one current source right so if you are considering the voltage source this current source it should be open if you are considering the current source this should be shorted that is voltage source should be shorted so considering 30 volt voltage source what will be the current i that is through the resistor 6 ohm so we will redraw the circuit this is 30 volts voltage source and the current source it will be made open so then we have a resistor 6 ohm okay so this is the current i so what is the current i i is equal to v divided by r so this is the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor that is 30 volts so that is 30 divided by 6 you will be getting 5 amperes so now due to 3 ampere current source what is the effect so we will redraw we have to short circuit the voltage source this is the current source that is 3 amperes and we have a resistor 6 ohm and you know that current always tries to follow the low resistance path so it will be taking this path that is the short circuited path okay because the resistance which is offered by this shorted path that will be equal to zero so that means there is no resistance offered so it will be taking this path so 3 ampere source so 3 ampere source it will be flowing through the shorted path so what will be the current here that will be 0 ampere so i is equal to 0 ampere so now to find out the total current that is through the 6 ohm resistor we have to take the sum of these two so that will be equal to 5 amperes this is the current through 6 ohm resistor